A teenage girl learned this morning she will likely remain in custody after shooting five people in Denver outside a bar last fall. Police say Kina Rosenberg got angry and shot randomly into the crowd when she wasn't allowed in. This morning, Rosenberg tried to get her bond lowered, but the victims in this case told the court they were against that. Investigative reporter Jeremy Hohola was in court to see this play out today. Jeremy, the suspect's only 17, but at this point, her case stays in adult court. Yes, for now, but her attorneys are actually trying to get it moved to juvenile court where consequences are obviously not as harsh there. She's currently under a $500,000 bond. You'll remember these images from Denver police last September. They show a young girl firing a gun outside of Dirk's Bentley's Whiskey Row. Police say that is 17-year-old Kiana Rosenberg. They say she got upset after a bouncer would not let her into the bar, so she pulled out a gun and fired indiscriminately into a crowd. Five people were shot. One of them was Desiree Gomez. She appeared in court this morning to denounce Rosenberg's efforts to lower her bond. The judge sided with Gomez and two other victims who spoke out in court this morning. The judge also agreed Rosenberg is a flight risk because she fled to California for a month after the shooting. And while her bond reduction was denied, Rosenberg's attorneys are trying to get the case moved to juvenile court. Gomez says that should not happen. So I think she needs to be tried as an adult. She made a lot of adult decisions that night and priorly. And I think because she is 17, she expects to kind of walk freely and um, continue to make the same bad decisions. I think that if we cut her some slack, I don't think there's going to be any lesson learned. Desiree Gomez there still needs a crutch to walk after bullets fractured bones in her legs and destroyed an artery. She's had to pause her medical studies and career while she continues to heal. The judge ruled this morning Rosenberg's bond will remain at $500,000, and then next month the hearing is set so prosecutors and defense attorneys can debate whether to move the case to juvenile court. So we'll keep watching what happens with this one. All right, Jeremy Hola, thank you.